Hello and welcome to our channel. We're here to entertain you with some boss movie reactions. Let's get started. Hello everybody and welcome to Boss Movie Reactions. We are very happy that you guys are here joining us for the last Rocky movie in the yes. Rocky franchise. Rocky, Rocky Balboa. Very excited for that one. But before we get started, how are you my love and how are your new eyes? Oh yes! So I, my new eyes are doing so much better. I I got LASIK uh, thanks to CCRS. Uh, Dr. Lee's office. Um, I was able to work with them and now I can see because it was always so hard with my glasses to actually see the screen because there's always things reflecting. So now I can just see, which is amazing. So that turned out perfectly. It was very successful. I'm super happy and thankful awesome. for that. All right. Yes. Now, before we get started, we have three quick things. We have a new boss champion. You can read the first name there. So, Plop Pill just became a boss champion. Hey, welcome to the family, Plop Pill. Thank you so much. By the way, I send you an email, but it bounced back because your inbox obviously is full or something. But yeah. You know. Now we have Patricia Deleu. Um, just became a champion as well on Patreon, and I think the Liu is a Dutch name that means lion, if I'm not mistaken. Really? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, so thank powerful. you so much for your support. And then we have one quote. I don't know if you saw the quote, but let me read it. Okay. It's from Philip Stoddard, 1502. He says, I'm commenting tonight in the middle of the aftermath of Hurricane Milton. The power is still out. I'm fortunate to have a generator and started out with fuel of gas tanks. I've been re rationing how I run the generator to conserve fuel and still keep from losing perishable in the refrigerator and freezer. When I saw your reaction was coming up, I had to break discipline and watch your reaction right away. I really enjoy you guys and I enjoy these later movies much more with you guys. Um, the battery is running out again and I'm not due to run the generator for another hour. So I'll just say keep up the good work. Thanks for the distraction. Look forward to seeing you again in the next one. Isn't that amazing? You are literally, you are amazing. First of all, we're very sorry for what's going on over there. We're sending prayers and hoping everything's resolved but that is what a huge compliment yeah. that losing his last yeah. bit of e electricity to watch our oh my gosh like <laughs> you're gonna awesome. make me cry thank Philip, you philip all the best to you guys yes all right <laughs> that was awesome that was and now we get started with rocky balboa here's rocky the slate six. there we go three two one and action I love how it just always starts like this. Oh, it's like the special one. Who that? It's not Rocky. No, unless he turned black. <laughs> I'm very confused right now. They were just chanting Rocky. Dixon. He had another quick knockout for Mason Dixon. Is that a real fighter? I think so. Maybe this angry visceral reaction will pressure Dixon to fight someone who can fight back for a change if there's somebody out there. Do, 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 take it back. Yeah, yeah. It must be sung again by Frank Stallone. Because oh, yeah. that's the same song they were singing outside around the fire. Oh, I thought it sounded familiar. I know that actor, My, uh, Milo, the guy from those TV shows. Mm. He plays as Stallone's son. Oh! Well, I mean, 16 years have passed. How do you know? Because I saw when the movie was made. Oh. The turtles! <laughs> They're so grown up! Yes. Those are the same turtles. They are? That's what the trivia said. Okay. Nick. It's a date? No. 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 
No! Oh, no. Time goes by too fast. Not fast enough. Oh. Your kid should have been here. That's all right, boy. No, it ain't all right. Ah, uh, you know, the kid gets a little busy sometimes. You're coming tonight, right? It's the anniversary. Oh. Fine. You got my word. I appreciate it. Thank you. How are you falling? Anniversary of what? Oh, that's so sad. That is sad. I'm sure we see her in a flashback or something. Oh. It's the kid. Ah, oh, yeah. The guy from that TV series. Heroes. Getting scolded. Yo, Robin. Hey, how you doing? Hey. What's up, champ? Call me on guard. No, how you doing? Real good. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, listen, you want to go out and get some coffee? Kind of behind. Maybe later? That'd be great. You know, you ought to come by the restaurant tonight. I can have something made special for tonight, you. Tonight I can't. I got plans. Did I do something wrong? What, what do you mean? Well, when I come here, you don't feel so comfortable, and I, I certainly don't want to do that. <laughs> you, know, you, you throw a big shadow. I got to get going. Um, I'll change my plans for tonight. Oh, that'd be great. I'm looking forward to okay. it. So he does not have the best relationship. With him. Okay, guys, you guys take care, okay? I like him. I like just how easygoing he is. I guess he's shopping for his restaurant. Not for himself? What restaurant? He said to his son, come on over to the restaurant. I have you made something special. So he's got a restaurant now? I don't know. That's what it sounded. Oh! Adrian's! Adrian's. How nice. Aww. Yo, how you doing, Spider? God bless you, Rocky. Thanks. I think that was the guy he was fighting in the underground boxing fight in the first movie. I don't remember him. I remember that Rico, a Spider Rico name. Jose, can you make something special for my kid who's coming tonight? No problem. Then I heard the best sound that I ever heard in my life. The bell. That's right, the bell. And Mickey leaves into my ear and says, come on. Get out there and fight this guy hard, you bum. And I said, yo, Mick, if I could, <laughs> I would. I would. Telling old stories. I love it. And everybody probably has heard it a hundred oh, times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, That's dear. why they all knew what to say. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at this swanky car. Who that? Oh, I think that's that. Dixon? Yeah. Hello, agents. Tell him you can't make it. That better not be his son. Yeah, for sure it is. It was, excuse me. Your son said he can't make it. Wow. Oh. Is that the pet shop? You need somebody to walk you home? It's a cold night. We need a few laughs in our life. What do you think? Maybe? Okay, let's get out of here, okay? Can't believe Adrian is dead. Done? Yeah. The sign's falling apart, boy. The whole world's falling apart. Look at us. Don't talk crazy, Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's getting late, Rob. I get a headache from this train. I remember when she was standing there. Oh, nervous and shy with his little smile. You done? Yes. Polly! <laughs> Nothing. How long are we staying here? Not long. Well, I'm glad they tore this ice rink down. Come on. I'm happy they tore it apart. First time I walked your sister across this ice, we was over there. Ice is stupid. People standing on ice are more stupid. Oh my gosh, Polly. Come on, Rock, let's go. We're done. There's no place to sit down <laughs> around here. What's the matter with you, Polly? You're living backwards, Rocco. Yesterday wasn't so great. It was to me. Not to me. You treated her good. You had the good times. I treated her bad. I don't have to think about this. She always loved you, Polly. Dolly Rocco. 
I can't do this no more. He feels guilty for treating her bad. You should. Is it badly? Yeah, badly. <laughs> well, that's a depressing beginning. I mean, I'm very curious as to what direction they're going to take this because oh. he's kind of like past his prime, so. Yeah. Has to do something with Dixon guy, otherwise, they will well, show him. Well, that's true. Dixon. I mean, he can't fight Dixon. Can I get you a drink? Uh, maybe just a short beer. Okay. Same old bar. I don't mean to cross the line or anything, but I read about your wife's passing a few years back. Yeah, it was a woman kids. Yeah. I always heard she was a nice person. Yeah. That's... Do I know you? We met a long time ago. When I was a kid, you walked me home. I did? Told me to stop smoking and things. Yeah. Oh! Screw you, creepo. <laughs> that's, that's her. Tom of Bogey Shop. That's right. Yeah, now I remember I walked you home, and when you got there, you turned around and said, screw you, creepo. Exactly. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> Great insults last a long time. Positive. Yo. How you doing? I think he wants to drink alone. No, I don't think so. Whoa, who that? Me and my friends were right down there. You think you think you could buy us around? Come on, you got the money. Just walk around. Yeah, yeah. What are you? <laughs> what are you doing pushing my hand away like that? Don't be playing a fool for that guy, all right? You're the fool, not me. You ain't no better than me. You think you're a big shot now? You ain't nothing. Whoa. You ain't no better than me. No better Whoa, than this. Yeah. Glad you dropped in. <laughs> Today we're changing a little. Oh, well, I'm going to lock off, so if you want to take off. How you doing, Rock? You good, thanks. Would you need a lift? Yeah, yeah, I got one kid. Yeah, me too. Wonderful boy. Hey, tough guy. What's the matter? You can't buy around. Oh no. Yeah, what you doing with that pig? Hey, don't listen to him. Jeez. You ain't no better than me. He never said he was. <laughs> you ain't no big shot. Right. Ah, <sighs> those people. Yeah. What are you doing? Don't get out. It's all right. <laughs> Gonna punch him? No, little Marie. It ain't all right. <laughs> Dang! Is he gonna go do something? Yo. Yo. What? I'll tell you what. Yeah. what? Hey, Yo. leave him alone! Dang! All right, you see that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you say? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Right. Good job. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you do. You need to, like, tell people. Didn't even punch him, just pushing a little bit. The guy sends his apologies. <laughs> okay. He still has the fighting spirit in him, eh? I think it's more he he still has the integrity, you know? He knows what's right. Yo, Mark. Yeah, I see you still got your key. You got time to talk? Yeah, I mean, it's only temporary. Yeah, I can see that. It is what it is. And I heard these buildings, like, I don't know, like 100, 150 years old. So, I mean, if I was 150 years old, I'd be falling apart, too, so... Okay, <laughs> Does that light work? Nah, it's burnt out or something. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that your kid? Yeah. I wish he wouldn't stay out so late. You know, he sort of resembles you. He's got that, you know, big Irish hair. <laughs> yeah, it's the other one. Oh! <laughs> His father was from Jamaica. Was you on a cruise ship or something? <laughs> no, not really. What's his name? <laughs> Steps. Is he looking like he's mad at me? No, 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 he's a good kid. Uh, you want to meet him? <laughs> you know, it's, it's getting kind of late. I got so many things to do. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> no, it's getting so late. <laughs> okay, Rocky. I have so many things to do, yeah, Rocky. Right. Yo, little Marie. Ain't you gonna introduce me to your kid? Hey, Doro Steps. What's up? Listen, I got this uh, place, this restaurant, nice little eatery. If you ever get a chance, it'd be great. Both of you just come down there and Eating every day be great, free. Leave it on the steps. Steps. Oh. <laughs> See you later. Come on, let's go. Uh, and he calls her Little Marie. <laughs> it's pride. 
Pride is what got your ass out of here. But people like you, they need to be tested. These are challenge. But you know that ain't never gonna happen. Ain't nothing out there, Mark. There's always somebody out there. And when that time comes and you find something standing in front of you, something that ain't running, it ain't backing up, and if you find that situation on you, that's good. Because that's baptism under fire. When you get through that, you find the only kind of respect that matters in this damn world. Self-respect. Yeah, that's good. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Your son, hold up your fist. Make sure you look more hazardous. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Yo, Spider. Let me do some dishes. I feel better. Oh, come on. You're my guest. Jesus wants me to work. Yo, Rocky. You got guests. Yo, Rocky. So this guy just okay. walks down there to, to work for to pay for his meal. So that's like, <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, they showed up. Yeah, why don't you sit down? Do this. Tonight, boxing once again. Two contrasting styles in almost every way. What? It said Rocky. Of all time. Yeah, it's like virtual game. Oh, yeah, like the, okay. Rules using the same equipment. Who was the greatest? This week, we feed our facts into the computer. They will weigh in on who they think is supreme. There's no question that Rocky Balboa fought the much tougher fights during a much tougher era in boxing. When you look at Mason Dixon in his career, he's basically been spoon-fed as opponents. Oh. No question in my mind, not only does Rocky win, but he wins knockout. Wow. <laughs> he does not like that. No. Well, if he tries to dig down against Balboa, he's going to find that he doesn't have a big enough shovel. I clearly give it to Balboa. They always <laughs> Let's see what the computer has to say. Let's have it. Dixon and Moe's on Balboa. Rocky has no answer. Picking all those head punches. Mm, looks about right. Yeah. <laughs> they nailed it with that AI stuff. Here he comes. Body shots. Oh. Yeah. There That's pretty bad to see something like that. Baby Rocky. Baby Rocky. Talking about living in the shadow of his Still in the shadow, Rocky. even around his friends. Well, don't tell me Rocky's gonna have a theme with this woman. No. Yo, you think uh, Steps wants a job, you know, make a few bucks on the weekend? Why are you being so nice? My wife, she's gone. She, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I wasn't thinking that, believe me. No? No. no okay. What was you thinking? I thought you don't owe us nothing. What are you doing? I'll be patient. Why you gotta owe something to get, yo, yikes. Bingo. <laughs> but why, why you gotta owe something to get something, you know? Really. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you come by. It's nice watching you eat. Good company. Aww. He's just the lonely. Little Let there be light. <laughs> <laughs> you like dogs? Dogs. Dogs. Is she gonna get a new dog? Oh. Talking to dogs. Really, you do. Look at these dogs. They're just so calm. Oh. Uh, you don't look too friendly, my friend. Oh man, this is the one. <laughs> what about this one here? Oh hell. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Oh, one ugly dog, man. I know, but it's kind of a cute ugly, you know? Oh. Yeah, sure, man. Hey, so how about a young one? Come over here, man. I want you to see something. Now, you notice what this animal is doing here? Lying in that position? He ain't doing nothing. No, he's doing a lot. He ain't wasting no energy. Because he's dead. No, no, he ain't dead. There's a lot of good mileage left on that animal. But what do you think is like a good name? No. I don't know. Fleabag. Catchy, I don't you know. I think though you could come up with in your young brain something better to throw out than, than like flea bag. Punchy, how's that? Punchy. Yeah, punchy. <laughs> okay, okay. I like it, you know. For real? Punchy, very good. All right, man. Good call. Aww. All right, punchy. I love it. Are you ready to be bailed out, my friend? Yes! <laughs> hey, man, no, it's a joke on you, right? Yeah, I know, you're, you're a very funny guy. <laughs> what natural acting, you know? So, I, I feel like I'm just watching two real people. Wow. Ah, 
Yo, Pauly. Hey, they're gonna be talking about that fake Looney Tune fight. Oh! What an ugly dog! He's cute! Cute dog. Spongy. Oh, hmm. he's cute. He's a cute face. Yeah. Hey, that stuff back there is pretty cool. Oh, you like that? Yeah, man. Thanks, appreciate it. Right, I'm gonna catch you later. Right. I love it. What a great heart he has. Mm -hmm. to help Who's the criminal? Like he's a nice kid. <gasps> he dresses like a bum. Oh, man, Polly. A quite a compliment. You give it a rest. Wow, Polly. I'm gonna be late for work. This. Give me a break, huh? All right, just for a few seconds. Last week, Rocky Balboa. See, that's the cartoon fight I'm telling you about. Cartoon fight. Keep in mind, this is taking the human factor out of it. Some good writing too. Be triumphant. Ko 13, and here's some of the fallout. Personally, I think Balboa was completely overrated. You know, he owns a little restaurant in South Philly. What's the specialty? Pounded chicken. Anyway. I oh my gosh. How original, dude. Hey, 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 cheer up. Free advertisement. Come on, meet house calls. So they're both seeing people talking trash about them, you know? Mm -hmm. The guy Dixon saw people talking trash about him too. Go mm -hmm. Robert. People just talking trash. Yeah. What is this? What are you doing out so late? Uh, you know, I tried calling, but nothing was picking up. And you want to come inside? No, uh, you know, I, I just want to get your opinion on something. Sure. I think I want to, like, do something. Like what? Fight. What? You know, nothing big. Small stuff, like, locally. Don't you think you're too, you know, old? Yeah, <laughs> but you think you ought to stop trying things because you had a few too many birthdays? I do not. People are going to think you're going crazy. <laughs> What's crazy about standing toe-to-toe -to -toe saying, I am, you know? That's just ego talking. Look, what are you trying to prove to other people, Pop? He's not. I really don't know what you want from me. I just wanted us to get involved, you know, like home team. Oh, home team. Whatever you're going through, it'll pass. Yeah, you're probably right. Time is it's gonna catch up to all of us. I'm gonna call you in the morning. All he wants was a little support. Oh, well, you don't believe in you? Welcome to my world, buddy. Nobody's giving you no title shot. I know that. I don't, I don't want one. What? You haven't peaked yet? Mm. I don't know. There's still some stuff in the basement. What basement? In here. Tell me about the stuff. Is it angry? Angry? No. Are you mad because Adrian left you? She didn't leave, Paul. She died. OK. OK, OK, OK. Um. You know, so. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. You know, I feel like this beast inside me. It's okay, Rocco. Please, it's okay. Is it? Okay. I, you know, I just never knew it was supposed to be this hard. It wasn't supposed to be like this, Paul, you know. I said, you want to come by and help me train? I got a job here. I understand. Rocco, this is all I got. I understand, boy. I do. Well, if you get time, you maybe come down and see me train. I appreciate it. Of course, Rocco. Bye, Polly. Goodbye, Rocco. Take care, Rocco. That's a cool shot right here. Yeah. For the issuance of a discretionary professional boxing license. The Medical Advisory Board has informed us that the battery of tests to which you've been subjected, you've passed these tests with flying colors. And we congratulate you for that. Thanks. However, this commission, in good conscience, cannot recommend you for a license, and we therefore deny your application. Why take the tests then? Didn't I do what you asked? Yes, you did. So I should get a license, right? Not exactly. So why'd you give me all them yeah. tests if you was never passed them? Yeah! We have to deny your request for a license at this time. That's a non-answer. That's a stock answer. Oh, I hate that. Yo, don't I got some rights? 
So don't say something about going after what makes you happy? No, that's the pursuit of happiness. But what's your point? My point is I'm pursuing something and nobody looks too happy about it. But <laughs> we're just looking out for your interests. I appreciate Are that, you? but maybe you're looking out for your interests just a little bit more. I mean, maybe you're doing your job, but why you gotta stop me from doing mine? Who's got the right to stop you? Yeah! I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, and you're told no, even after you pay your dues? Who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody! It's your yeah. right to listen to your gut, it ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you wanna be and do what you wanna do! Yes! Yeah, he does have the fighting spirit. <laughs> the only thing I'm asking you guys to leave on the table is what's right. Mm. Yo! Oh, have you seen the paper today? Man? Front row, front row. That is so great. All right. All right. Oh, oh you know what? he passes okay. the test. Right, look at me. You heard Rocky Balboa applied for a license and got one, yeah? Yeah, I heard he got a license. Forget about oh, it. Hear me out, hear me out. Hear what out? You want me to fight a guy that I can beat with both hands tied behind my back? Everybody oh. knows you can beat the guy sitting down, but that's not what it's about. It's about making money. We gotta capitalize on that computer fight. Forget about it. Then what do you wanna do? Cause no one's beating the door down to watch you fight anymore. Look man, we They're got not. guaranteed fights. We don't have guaranteed fights. Whatever. We got nothing, Mace. There's no marquee value. But this Balboa thing is interesting. Because it, listen to me, excuse me, maybe you don't understand. People don't like you no more. Why? They don't follow you no more. They're not supporting you anymore. Don't you understand that? I don't no, know he's that. young. He just won heavyweight. But boring fights, apparently. Oh. Everybody knows you could kick this old man's ass, but you don't. You leave him with a little bit of dignity. So they say, Mason Dixon's got compassion. He's a decent guy. He's a nice guy. You want a new image, Mace? That's how you get it. Man, I've had it up to here with this mess, man. I want Martin back. There's nothing to talk about. He's going to come around for sure. Punchy. Yeah. Oh. You named your dog Punchy? Well, actually, you could come up with a name. Yeah. I think that's disrespectful. Oh, no, no, it's fine, really. No, Look at this doggy punchy. Listen, what do you think about coming over to the restaurant? What for? Well, you know, for like, uh, for work. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm telling you, you do good, you do so good. I appreciate what you're doing for my kid, but I can't. Uh, well, you know, hey, listen, I think you like it a lot. It's, 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 a, it's a nice environment, it's very pleasant. Yeah, can we drop it? Mmm. Uh, what's bothering you? Okay. Nothing, it's all right. Listen, I gotta get back. No, it ain't all right. Oh, come on. You could find 10 better people, 100 better people for this job. I'll give it a try, like two weeks. I don't want to try. Yo, who put this stuff in your head? Nobody. Well, it just don't get in there by itself. Mm. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, why not? Yo, when was the last time you went dancing? Has it been a while? Why are you asking me that? Well, I'm asking because you're dancing around all these problems. You might as well come and dance with me. Now, I ain't that good, but, you know, I'm probably better than the average bear. And where that came from, I don't know. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, a little bit. But the way you're thinking, the way you're talking, it's a little crazy, too. Come on, you deserve better. Really. Come on over. Maybe she doesn't think she's Maybe worth that's... the... Mm -hmm. Right. Don't fire him now. Oh yes. <gasps> Why? Who knows? That's all he got. He said so himself. He brought all the meat he could carry. <laughs> Deliveries are in the back. I'm not a delivery guy. Well, do you have a reservation? I look like a freaking Indian. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, Rock, Rock. Polly, showing a bit of a nasty color there. Yo, Polly, what happened? I retired. Mm. Retired? And you have to take him outside because. <laughs> so when they start giving retiring people meat instead of watches, Polly. I don't need a watch. I got a watch. I think that's exactly what I was afraid of. Yo, Polly. I gotta watch! Drama going on in Adrian's house. No. Yo, Polly. Rock. It takes guts climbing back in that ring knowing you're gonna take a beating. You're gonna do all right, Rocco. How do you know that? The stuff in the basement. <laughs> 
Thanks, boy. Listen, Ali, there's some guys over there want to talk to you. Okay. okay. Dixon's people. This is L.C. Luco. He's Mason Dixon's manager. Like to sit down and join us? Sure. Please. You know, we have the promotional contract for Mason Dixon, who's a big fan, by the way. Really? <laughs> and when he heard you're interested in fighting again, he thought, why not try to work something out? Like a special event. Why me? He respects the hell out of you, all right? And let's be honest, that computer fight got people curious. This could be very interesting. Yeah, but I ain't interested in getting, like, mangled and embarrassed. Or... <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. No. Mangled. Exhibition. <laughs> think of it as a glorified sparring session. Mm. And here's something I think you like. It's good mm. to get. Charity. We're gonna donate a portion of the gate to charity. See? Yeah. Just like that's he did with that one guy who beat him. Hulk. I really gotta think <laughs> about this. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. This is what you wanted, right? Yeah. You know, I talk and I talk, and sometimes I think what I'm saying is true, and then... I look at myself, I'm not even sure what is true anymore because it's like I push this crazy idea about fighting. I mean, what's it all about? Do I really care about standing toe to toe? Or like my kid says, is it just like ego? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Good questions. Mm. Like Insightful. Me. We all have that feeling that fire, but you usually never get a chance to use it and then it just goes away. Mm. But you can. You've got this opportunity, so do it. Why not? I mean, this is who you are. And it doesn't matter how this looks to other people. All that matters is how it looks to you. And if this is something that you want to do, then you do it. Fighters fight. First huh. person who supports him. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. I love that. You know, he helped her when she was a kid, and now she's helping mm -hmm. him. This is skill versus will, with part of the proceeds going to charity. Let's open it up for questions. Why risk the danger and embarrassment? The smart money says you have virtually no chance. Puncher always has a chance. Yeah, I'd rather do something uh, I love badly. Baby. Oh, that's a good shot. Shadow is getting bigger. <laughs> you win, we'll say you beat an old guy. You lose, be the joke of the decade. <laughs> you all know that'll never happen. This is only an exhibition. Don't go trying to make more out of this than that computer trial. <laughs> and a man whose own credible legacy and popularity is in doubt. What's the upside? Doubt? I'm doing you people a favor. I'm having this exhibition for you all. And you're going to get up here and make a mockery out of me? I'm the champ. I mean, I get pissed, this guy get hurt. See you at the fight. That does not look good for his image. You guys are jokes. You're going to get crushed. All right. Oh, Excuse me. Glad you come by. Can I talk with you? Sure. Can you do it outside? So you nervous about the fight? They're scared to death. You don't look scared? Well, you ain't supposed to. Then you don't have to do it. Yeah, well, I think I do. Y you know, living with you, it hasn't been easy. People see me, but they think of you. Now I start to get a little ahead, and this happens. Don't you care what people think? Doesn't it bother you that, that people are making you out to be a joke and that I'm going to be included in that? Do you think that's right? That's not fair. I'd hold you up and say to your mother, this kid's going to be the best kid in the world. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Mm. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I'm always going to love you no matter what. You're the best thing in my life. But until you start believing in yourself, you ain't going to have a life. 
Don't forget to visit your mother. That's a life-changing speech. If you listen. Aww. I guess you listened. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. You get off early from work? No. I quit. Oh. I didn't I didn't fit in there. I understand. Right now I'd rather be with you. Oh. Is that alright? Finally. It's been a long time since I've seen a fight. Nice moment. Yes. You know all there is to know about fighting. To beat this guy, you need speed. You don't have it. <laughs> and you need Burn. To pound it. Hard running is out. And you got arthritis in your neck. And you've got calcium deposits on most of your joints. So sparring is out. <laughs> I had that problem. So what we'll be calling on wow. is good old fashioned blunt wow. force trauma. Horsepower. Heavy duty punches that will have to hurt so much they'll rattle his ancestors. Yeah. Let's start building some hurting bombs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Hey. Oh, about the donkey. Oh, he has this little jacket on. I so admire this fight or this like fighting spirit. Yes. Yes. Gross! Ah, Salmonella alert! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Oh, the meat! The meat! <laughs> This doggy! Yes! Yes! Get on those steps! Get on those steps! Yes! Doggy! <laughs> yes! Just awesome. Oh, Vegas! Thank you very much. I appreciate it, champ. Thanks a lot. Such arrogance, this guy. <laughs> Everybody's chanting for Rocky. <laughs> oh, seriously, my it? boy. You guys, uh, I'll catch up with you all later, okay? Robert wants you to hang with me. How you doing, champ? I'm good. Yo, man, there's no reason for neither one of us to get hurt in this fight. I'll do my best to carry you. Make sure you save face. there would be no embarrassment. But I promise you, if you try to press me, you hit me, you hurt me, you hit me low, I'll get you out of there. You know, uh, a lot of people come to Vegas to lose. I did. It's already over. You ain't done something over until it's over. What's that from, in the 80s? It's probably in the 70s. <laughs> Just remember what I said. Yo, ain't you a little scared? I don't get scared. Ooh, that's the problem. <laughs> I'm like, you got arthritis. <laughs> you ain't got the sleep, you got arthritis. <laughs> That's so wrong. Hi. Yo, Hi. little Marie. Um, I brought you something. Asia. No. They should always brought me luck. Listen, I wanted to say thanks for everything you've done for me and my kid. You know, it's. You've been great. And, uh, you know, tomorrow, you're going to prove that the last thing to age on somebody is their heart. I'll try. Better be a friendly kiss. It was. Okay. <laughs> that was a really nice line. Mm -hmm. <sighs> 
here at the Mandalay Bay Event Center in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mandalay Bay. Between Mason, the line, Dixon, and Rocky, Al Gore. Hello again. The energy in the room is electric. Larry, why is this billed as an exhibition? Wild guess. So they wouldn't have to call it an execution. <laughs> we have already claimed the victory in our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Good luck. Amen. Rocky. Thanks, Pedro. Nobody's expecting much, I think, from Rocky Balboa. Look, I know you got a lot of stuff you gotta get out of your system. Tonight you do it, right? Get rid of the damn beast. Be done once and for all. Please, I love you. Mm. Rocky brings out the best in him. <laughs> Rocky's son, that Milo guy, he's fine. Mm. Let's go. Very good. Look at Polly, how happy he is. Rocky's an off the They filmed this on different format, you can see. Probably HD. Then the movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because it looks movie. like TV camera. Yeah. And as soon as they cut away, it looks like movie again. Yeah. Probably film versus HD. Yeah. Most likely. Because the actual movie, I think, is film. Yeah, how you doing? Rocky Balboa just asked me how I'm doing. Now, I grew up watching this guy. This is unbelievable. I'm a fan. I can't help it. <laughs> now, here comes... The Everyone's a fan. <laughs> Tyson. Oh! oh, Michael Buffer. Let's get ready to run by. That's Bruce Buffer's brother. It's time! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, let's get it ready. ready to rumble! Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. It's trademarked. It is. His professional record, 57 victories, including 54 knockouts. Dang! With defeats for Rocky! Dang, he's got muscles! Woo! Rocky! Hope he gets his head buzzed. Mean! <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. No, that's that guy. Oh, the girl who was, you think I'm better than me? <laughs> like a consisting of 33 bouts. So 30 of them were knockouts. Wow. It's a good record. Mason, the long This is the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Enjoy the ride. Champ is not in the best shape we've seen him in. The moments before Rocky wow. Balboa fight, I can't believe it. I cannot believe he's fighting. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just want him, kind of like in the first movie, I just want him to go the distance, you know, not be knocked out. As much excitement as there is in the arena. I mean, maybe he even wins, but I don't know. That probably wouldn't be I mean, yeah. Although... A puncher's chance, you always got that. The announcers were saying this Mason guy didn't come mm -hmm. in the best shape, so he's underestimating him. And you saw Rocky, how he trained. Ooh. If one of those lands, and he has a chance. A punch in bag. Now Rocky's understandably frustrated. One punch can still turn it around. So apparently he forgot his arthritis meds. He's <laughs> <laughs> not Ooh. even right. Oh my gosh. Four pinpoint jams by Dixon. Oh, there's a hard right hand. Yeah. Oh. Dixon and yeah. Rock for the series. Rocky came here to fight. Yeah. <laughs> he took his arthritis meds this morning. <laughs> so wrong. So wrong. It's toe to toe in the corner. Elbow <laughs> landing. <laughs> what happened to the angry stuff in the face? It's still there. It's still there. <laughs> <laughs> Give the man a little respect. What about my respect? Are oh, you listening to me? Rocky's been here a million times before. Coming out to start another round. Well, he's tired. His legs are going fast, already gone. And what's truly extraordinary <laughs> is that Rocky can still take it. The Boxing Commission was criticized for licensing him. <laughs> Frustrated. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh. That could conceivably be the exhibition right there but no 
He got up after that? Oh my gosh. That's what he does. But that one looked brutal. Oh, no, no, no. He's playing me now. Blackie actually shoves Dixon back. As Dixon lands these brutal shots. Open range, right in left hand. Oh my gosh. Oh. Seven. Eight. Oh. Eight. oh. How you feel, man? You okay? Head movement, my friend. Head movement. Oh, good. 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 For the second round. Oh. oh. What happened there? He hurt his hand. From punching his thigh? Oh, that changes everything. Holding his other arm because he can't use it. Oh, that evens the fight a little. Welcome to Rocky Land. Woo! Rocky Land. My hand's broken. Uh, hand is broken. Here's Rocky's chin. Wow. These are tough, tough people. You go get him. What do you know about boxing? <laughs> Those look like some low blows. Yeah. Oof. One night round, break him down. Bombing. Oh. Oh. Nicely edited. Now she is fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. Come on! Mm -hmm. oh. Yikes! Ah! Uh. You can do it! Oh no! What's going on? What's going on? Oh no! Those body shots. Wow. Good thing there are only 10 rounds. Because it's its, it's, it's exhibition? Mm-hmm. Oh. Ugh. Come on, Mick. Come on. Go to him. Run over him. One more round. I've had worse. I've had much hey, worse. Go to toe. One round to go. Who would have believed this was possible? Everyone but you guys, you negative Nancy's. You have to. There's nothing more to prove. He's not trying to prove anything, dude. I gotta go out there. I gotta go. One more round, we go home. Okay, then do it. One more round. That every great champion has one great fight left in him. And Rocky is proving it. Paco! The last round of your life! Come on, guys. The last round! Come on. Touch him up. Let's go. Touch him up. You are my crazy old man. You'll get there. <laughs> now you know what it feels like to be punched by Rocky. Exhibition against the heavyweight champion of the world. You can do it. Come on. They're both in a he seems much more fresh, this guy, though, Dixon, in this round. Mm. Oh, he looks like he's tired. Come on, Rocky! Oh no. Oh. oh! So brutal. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit. And keep moving forward. How much you can take. And keep moving forward. Get up. Let's go, get up! Get up. Yes! Yes! Two minutes to go. Drew is astonished that Malboa got up. 
Unload the basement. Come on, one of those brutal punches. Holy crap. Dang! Oh! We did survive. You're a great champion. You got heart. You got a great opportunity. That's unbelievable. That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Hey, Polly. <laughs> that beast is gone now. The beast is out. Let's go! We have a split decision. Oh! 95, 94. He just walks out. Dixon. Oh! Chuck Champa has it. 95, 94. Balboa. Wow! And All that doesn't really matter. 94, wow. But everybody's cheering for Rocky. And if Rocky would have been his age, oh yeah, yeah. Knocked out. This is amazing. Rocky! Still thanks her even though she's dead. We did. No, that didn't mean. Bravo, bravo. Are these all random people who go up and run and do the Rocky thing? <laughs> I did that. I didn't even know what it was. Maybe you're in this footage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how awesome is that? Oh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fun! Aww. <laughs> Just shows you how a movie can inspire an entire yeah. society or world for that matter. I was thinking something very similar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this little kid. Oh my gosh! Aww. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. 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 Yeah, that was fantastic. What a great ending to conclude this series. Yeah, that was a good, a good, a good comeback from the fifth. <laughs> um, but wow, really powerful. Mm -hmm. Some great really speeches. Yeah. yeah, that was fantastic. I mean, great scenes, great speeches, great moments great ending didn't matter if he won or not in the end he was really just just like the first rocky movie going the distance you know that's what he wanted to do and empty what did he say empty the 
forgot, but I am still like, I'm just still so moved. Like this is, like it's so powerful. Like he didn't let any of his, um, his circumstances <laughs> keep stopping him. No, he pushed through and I mean that speech, man, about being knocked down and it matters if you can get up again and push forward. Yeah. And nothing hits harder than life. That is true too. You uh, know? That is it's great stuff. This was very well done. I mean, I don't know how it feels for people who are watching it at the time, you know, but I imagine, exactly I wonder if, same, yeah. no, I mean, like, I wonder if people were thinking like, this was the end or like, oh, there could be another one that comes because one just doesn't know. Cause I think you said this was 16 years later. Mm -hmm. So like, of but, course now there is, I mean, there is one, I guess, Creed, Creed one, two and three. I, and we might watch Creed one and two because everybody wants us to yeah. watch it. And Stallone is in, in the Creed one and Creed two. And then I had no idea that that's what Creed was about. <laughs> like, I didn't know it was a continuation yeah. of this. Like, Okay, now I'm excited to watch Creed. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah, okay. Well... <laughs> oh, one more thing before I forget. If you watch my Afterthoughts video, you'll see a little compilation of young Mike Boss doing boxing training. I found some clips there. <laughs> so look out for that. And you'll also see some young Jessica Boss doing a couple of <laughs> I didn't box, so... <laughs> Thank you, guys so much for being here i hope you enjoyed that as much as we did and we will see you very soon and um, we probably do the celebration video first but then we continue with creed so we'll see you guys then okay take care bye bye